This is NSK State News for May 2017, Christian Motzka reporting. Liberation Day, the documentary about Leibach's trip to North Korea, has continued to tour across Europe, but has just added two surprising locations. On May 1st, the documentary will play in South Korea, and on May 12th, it will play in Israel. Both showings will be accompanied by Leibach concerts, and will be the first time that the band has played in either of these countries. The NSK State Pavilion, Irvin's contribution to the 57th Annual Venice Biennale, is fast approaching. It will run from May 11th until July 15th. A special website has been set up specifically for this event at www.nsk-state-pavilion.org. There you can learn about a public lecture by Slavoj Žižek happening during the event, as well as a zero principle bond created as a collaboration between Irvin and the NSK State Reserve Bank of New York. Now let's take a retrospective look at the first NSK State Folk Art Biennale held in April 2014 in Leipzig.
State News correspondent Alexander Nim now presents a conversation with a representative from the NSK State Reserve Bank of New York. Hello, Gabrielle. Thank you for taking the time to explain a little about NSK NY's highly intriguing Federal Reserve project. Hello, Alex, and Leipzig. I'm very happy to speak to you today from our New York office. The NSK State Reserve has distributed thousands of notes to NSK State citizens and has had two successful bond issues. We want to make sure you have all the money you need. How did the concept for NSK State Reserve come about? Finance is never far from our minds in New York. After extensive discussions within NSKNY, we decided that the best way to launch a financial system for the NSK State would be to start giving out money. We created the NSK State Reserve to facilitate this. Where do you get the banknotes you use? The banknotes we convert to NSK state currency come from a variety of sources. Online markets, donations from citizens, and even from our local currency exchange. We pick them up wherever they can be procured in sufficient quantities to provide liquidity to the state. As these are often dead currencies, the notes themselves are fascinating, and we enjoy sharing them with fellow citizens. Some of the notes are equipped with expiry dates, others aren't. What's the idea behind issuing notes with limited value duration? Isn't it unlikely that people would actually be able to use the NSK notes as proper means of payment outside of NSK state contexts? The expiration date was a tool we used in our initial runs to encourage circulation and to experiment with the relationship between money and time. Right now, we're encouraging circulation by other means. Our bond program has been very successful at this, but it's a mechanism we may return to in the future. I can't really speak to the odds of NSK state citizens finding proper uses for the currency. They're a crafty bunch. How other than through art market dynamics could the material value of such a reserve note be determined? Or is the realization that assigning value to a printed paper slip is in itself a delusion? Delusion is a strong word. We should all share in deciding what has value. And if we collectively decide that it resides in little magic slips of paper, that's fine. More important to us than what value the notes have is how they travel between citizens, how they might circulate and connect us, how they might nourish the state as they flow through it. In this way, the market dynamics contribute to the project. Still, the reserve notes will sooner or later become treasurable state artifacts, turning into collector's items bound to increase in value. Are you hoping that reserve notes might one day become a more reliable tool of payment than contemporary currencies, or are they intended strictly to be used within an NSK-related context, for example for buying artworks or merchandise? It breaks our hearts to see the notes caged up in frames on walls instead of flying free between citizens, but hopefully we can, can have both. both. The future role of the currency depends on how NSK state citizens decide to use them. It has been encouraging to see NSK state notes operate not only as tokens of financial exchange, but also of cultural exchange, drawing out the stories behind the original instruments and conveying new messages for their adopted state. Oh, that is very interesting. Could people also send you their own collected banknotes or other documents to be NSK-ified? People should feel free to contact the Reserve with any ideas they have for conversion. We're always interested in collaborating. How did you feel when the Irwin Award was given to NSK New York for the NSK State Reserve project? We were a little shocked. Honestly, I don't know that a financial institution has ever won an art award before, but uh, we're very honored, of course. 
What are the State Reserve's upcoming plans and activities? Our most important goal is to remain a stable and reliable institution for the NSK state and to improve and widen our currency distribution. We would also like to expand the scope of our operations, perhaps to include digital works and oil paintings. Well, thank you and best of success. Greetings to New York from NSK Staat Lipsk. Goodbye and thank you, Alex. Tschüss. Thanks for watching.